So yeah, the teachers' so union was just ratified with overwhelming done. support. Uh, I'm just gonna send How text are you feeling? Text we feel very good that um, our members recognized what a great contract this was. Um, there's there's so much going on right now uh, in many other districts, and everybody was looking to us to see what we were going to be able to bring to the table for our membership. We knew that we had a good deal, um, and we're just thrilled that our grassroots approach during these negotiations, um, leaning on our uh, rank and file members to help us through this process, really made the difference. It's what pushed us over the finish line. Mm -hmm. There have been months of contentious bargaining as well as a disastrous city council interrogation of the superintendent and years of COVID protocols. How would you describe the morale of teachers right now and where do you see that morale going in the future? I think that teacher morale has been boosted by this MOA, um, but I would say that for all of the pandemic and for all of negotiations up until a couple of weeks ago, um, it was really low. Morale was low across the board. Um, and, you know, I'm hopeful that this is something that is a trajectory, that we're moving in the right direction. Um, and, you know, a rising tide lifts all boats. And I feel like this contract at least um, got us to see that tide rise. Going off of that, um, Stacy in her speech mentioned that you guys only took place in one action, one major action. Um, and obviously, like, there are parts of the contract, as we heard from teachers in the audience, that they wish you could have gotten more or could have been added. Obviously, there always is. Do you think that over the next three years and when like the next contract negotiations come up with a rise in morale, do you think it would be possible to put on more actions and get more change? Because all of that, the 3.25% coming from one action, that's incredible. And it just like makes me think, if you did more, what more could you get? Right. So I feel like what we saw at the school committee was really a culmination of actions that we had taken. We made, a, we made sure that we had a presence at Waltham Day by having a booth there to interact with the public. Um, we were also simultaneously advocating for the passage of question one, the fair share amendment. Um, we were hand in hand with other municipal um, employees and other school districts, recognized the importance of getting that passed. Um, the, the standouts at open house nights across the city at our 10 schools, um, canvassing door to door for question one while wearing our WEA shirts, all these things together made a huge difference. I think that the school committee presentation was really um, powerful because it was broadcast. Um, we had hundreds of people in attendance. Um, and at that point, people had really just been so fed up um, that it reached a boiling point. So I think, as I said, it's what pushed us across the finish line, but I think it was really um, the icing on the cake. There was a lot going on before that, getting members involved that really worked in our favor. Yeah. But absolutely, this is teeing us up for three years from now. We've got mm -hmm. people who are motivated, they're seeing unions take on strength nationwide, not just in public sector, but everywhere, yeah. even at the Starbucks that I go to in the morning. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, you know, we need to capitalize on that. And we heard some great ideas from the crowd yeah. here. I don't know that some of these people were here when we initially surveyed right. the membership, and once we put our asking package together and were uh, a few sessions in, we couldn't make any changes to it as much as we'd like to. Uh, both sides, they couldn't make changes, we couldn't make changes, that's part of our ground rules. But we have an, we have an idea, a blueprint to go forward. Yeah. I mean, I hope like from my point of view, I would hope that with all the teachers seeing the success you guys had and what you did ask for this time, that once the next negotiation session rolls around, when you are asking their opinions like what do you want to see in this next contract that after seeing this year's success teachers will be more willing and able to actually call out and announce what they want in the next in the next contract certainly and you know I, I want to be careful I want to use educators because we have a, a tremendous course, cadre yeah. of paraprofessionals <laughs> my mother was a paraprofessional here for a number of years mm -hmm. and um, this was a great lift for them too 
Um, yeah, you know, they saw some financial gains that they've been asking for for a while, and um, we were finally able to get some of those uh, for them. And the way that our paras line up um, salary-wise is, is really good um, when you compare us to comparable districts, comparable cities and towns around. Um, some of them only see uh, increases in salary if they have a bachelor's degree or a master's degree. Um, our paraprofessionals can come here with a high school diploma and um, really do well financially. They're not paid an hourly rate. They have a salary with full benefits. They're not capped at 19 hours a week like they are in some districts to prevent them from accessing health mm -hmm. benefits. Mm -hmm. um, they are the really and truly the salt of the earth. They are the bones that we need mm -hmm. to keep this, um, this system running. They're tremendously hardworking people. That's awesome. It's good to hear you say that. Um, is there just anything else that you'd like like to add to the people of Waltham after this successful day? I want people in Waltham to recognize how special our public schools mm -hmm. are. Um, the students, the parents, the staff. Um, it is a wonderful community to be in. Our diversity is our strength. And I mean that in terms of, you know, ethnic background, age, experience. We have a wonderful school district that still offers so many programs that have been on the chopping block in other places. We have a robust drama department, fine arts department, instrumental department. Our school buses are still free for kids. They don't have sports fees. There are so many things that make this city great, and now we have a contract that makes it even greater. That's awesome. I'm so happy for you guys. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks so much. I appreciate the time.